Motion Tracking in Filmora 10. Let's pick a simple video of a running man. The most important thing is to check if the tracked object doesn't leave the frame, if it does, simply cut the clip before the tracking object leaves the frame. Since this video is too fast I'll slow it down a little. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. This is very important because the tracking will start where your playhead is positioned. For example, if you position it here, then the motion tracking will start from here. The motion tracking can be chosen from the motion tracking button on the timeline toolbar. Or when you double click on the clip and find the motion tracking on the editing menu. The tracking box appears. Just resize it and move it over the object that you want to track, in our case the running man. Click the render effect button and Filmora will analyze the video. Now let's add the object or the effect that should follow the footage. For the purpose of our presentation I'll pick a simple title. It takes some time to adjust all elements of this particular title template, so let's speed up for a while. Now let's move the title where I want to be in relation to the track subject. I want the title to be in front of the running man. We're almost done. Now I'll expand the duration of the title to match the duration of the clip. Then I'll double click the footage and go to the motion tracking. From the drop down menu there is a list of all objects, images and text available. Since I have only one element added, the title is all I see. Select the title. Now click the play button and the magic begins. Now you know how to use the motion tracking in Filmora 10. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.